close your eyes and watch your breath. Stay right on top of the breath right now, right now. So you can see what's happening in the mind right now. It's only when you see it happening that you can do something effective about it. If you remember about of anger yesterday, or about of lust, or about of fear, or greed, whatever, that's all you've got is the memory. You don't actually see it in action. You don't see what triggered these things. You can have some ideas and some theories about what triggered these emotions, but you don't really know them until you've watched, oh, this is what happened, this is what the mind said to itself at that point that flipped it over into anger, flipped it over into greed, whatever. So you want to be right on top of things. When you're with the breath, you're right in the present moment. You can't watch a past breath. You can't watch your future breath. You can watch this breath right now. So when you're with this breath, you know you're right here. And then whatever else comes up, you can deal with it effectively. When the Buddha talks about being in the present moment, it's interesting. It's always in the context of death contemplation. He says, tomorrow death may come, and then sometimes not just tomorrow. There's another place where he says, you, you try to focus on what you can do right now with this breath coming in, this breath going out, because you don't know if you're going to live for the next breath. So it's not a matter of settling into the wonderful present moment. It's, a, it's because this is where the work should be done, and this is where good work can be done. It's good work to be able to be on top of these things and not let unfriendly emotions i.e. unfriendly to your well-being, take over. There's another passage where someone is commenting on how it is that the monks living out in the forest, why do they seem so bright and happy? And as I would have said, they live in the present moment, because they're doing something that's really worthwhile doing. They're not being distracted by all kinds of other things. And as the mind get clean, gets cleaned out like this, of course, the, your attitude is going to be clean, your mood is going to be clear. Because you're working on something that's really worth doing. Now, whether it's going to be a long-term job or a short-term job, we can't determine that ahead of time. Most of the people for whom it's a short-term job, it's like the Buddha picked all the flowers that were blooming at that time, and then just leaves the rest of us. So we have to be ready for the long haul. But it's a journey that you take one step at a time. Dealing with each breath one at a time, trying to breathe in a way that feels really good. This helps keep you here with a sense of well-being, a sense that you belong right here, that it's a good place to be, you're doing work that's good to do. And even though that's not the ultimate happiness, it's a happy path to be on. <laughs>